In 2 Kings 21 and in 2 Chronicles 33, we read about one of the most wicked kings of Judah, Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah. He becomes king at a young age, but instead of following his father's good example, he chooses to do evil, much evil in the sight of the Lord. He rebuilds the high places that his father had destroyed, he worships idols, and he even sacrifices his own son to a pagan god. And God sends prophets to warn Manasseh and the people of Judah of the judgment that will come upon them. But Manasseh refuses to listen and he continues to lead God's people into sin. And ultimately, God allows him to be captured by the Assyrians. The Bible tells us that they put a, a ring through his nose, bound him in bronze chains, and led him away to Babylon. But while he was in captivity, Manasseh humbled himself. He, he repents of his sins and calls out to God for mercy. And this is an amazing example of God's amazing grace. God hears his cry and restores him to his throne in Jerusalem. Manasseh rebuilds all the good things that he tore down. And you know, God's mercy and grace in these chapters are truly an amazing thing because Manasseh was truly lost, leading others down horrific paths of sin. However, the life of Manasseh and his repentance is this amazing example of God's willingness to forgive and restore. You see, these chapters serve as a clear reminder of the truth that consequences of a disobedience not only affect our lives, but others, just as it did for Manasseh and the people he was leading, but also today we can be encouraged by the example of repentance of Manasseh, knowing that no matter how far we've strayed from God, he is always willing to forgive and restore when we turn to him in humility and repentance.